welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed! Check it out, y'all. Broken. Wow! Yeah. yeah. That's like tearing a phone book in half, except like... Way easier. Yeah. Yeah. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, would you do the honors? I absolutely would. Here we go. What are we going to get? Will it be grass again? Let's see. Could it be? It's going to be bad for last place if it is, but instead it's going to be... Fireball! Fire All right, let's change the skateboards. Hey, flares, my boy! Yeah. I do actually quite like Flareon. Growing up, Jay claimed Vaporeon, our yeah. younger brother claimed... Jolteon, and then I had Flareon, which worked out well because I was kind of a Blastoise girly. So you know, you get there in the end. Which what was your what was your bird? Zapdos. Zapdos. Yeah, you were a Zap Articuno. Yeah, yeah, cause I was the middle child. And yeah. Like Dose is two. Right. You know, and, and you were Uno because you're number one, and then right. Moltres because Tyler's number three. Exactly. And it all came together. Right. Bulbasaur also, in case you're wondering. So you would have bulbs. Bulbasaur, vapes. Vaporeon, and Articuno. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Solid lineup. You want to let them know about our randomly chosen comic case cards? I sure do, Ben. They are going to be Bronzong, Drillbur, and Noctowl. And this is for the season 11 finale. Like, we, every pack we open brings us one step closer to every final podium ranking. I know. It's, and it is going to be a fascinating charge to the finish line at this point in time, especially in the team competition. It is. Where against all odds. I think in thanks to Jazzy J Truther from last week's episode, Team Grass is currently atop the leaderboard with 293 points, followed by Team Electricity with 291 points, Team Water with 262, and Team Fire with 254. Right, so Grass is actually only ahead by two points, but importantly in this episode, our first place leader, Steven N, is on Team Electric, meaning whatever he opens will absolutely be added to the front of Team Electric score. So unless he opens a one point pack, they can almost be guaranteed to take the lead. Yes, it seems very likely. And then the other thing that's gonna be really interesting is we don't have anybody with like top scores from Team Grass in, in the competition today. So someone from Grass is going to have to pull something massive in order to move their needle forward. So right. every single member from Team Grass that's competing today, you're just looking for a big pull. And then as for always, the big narrative we've had all season is Big Steve is currently one slot away. He's currently in seventh place. And if anybody scores above him, that will drop Big Steve down to eighth place. I thought it would have happened in any of the past three Me episodes. Me too. Me Here too. we are. This is like pure finale in the making. I know. Who is, do we have a best uh, placed person to do it? Who's like in 15th right there? Let's see, 15th place, I don't actually. So they presently have 30 some odd points Yeah, there. let's see, so yeah. it's gonna be Sydney for Team Fire. Sydney for Team Fire is the best placed person to do this Sid yes. going in. Right, yeah. Oh so my it's, gosh. It's, it's gonna be cool to see unfold. I'm super excited, hope you guys are. Without any further ado, Pack number one. Team Grass is up first with Jesse Utile. Here we go. Jesse's coming in with just four points on the season thus far, so they're not really looking at last place or anything. They're really just hoping to get something massive and maybe rocket up the charts here. Right, yep. Grass Energy, no multiplier. Solosa, Skibby, Electabuzz, Bramblin, Mudsdale, Saucebug. Ooh, Ooh look right at that! The, the Neo Upper Energy Ace spec, bam, and a critical hit on the Solosis. 
And that's just gonna do a plus eight point for the Bramble Gas. So let's see. Let's see. We have a critical hit out of the gate. Yes, we do. Oh so. my gosh, but the Neo Upper Energy is not one of the high no. value Ace Vet cards, unfortunately. Man, that was so nearly terribly exciting. Uh, just $1.63. What? So rounds up to two, two three, three, six. Wow. Man, that is unfortunate. I thought we were really gonna have something big right out of the gate there. That's gonna be 10 points total for Jesse on the season. And either way, you get the Neo Upper Energy, so that's cool. You know what? I like it though. I feel like there's there is finale energy in the air. The Ace spec on pack one, like pack we haven't one. seen that. So as you'll notice, we have another round of complete single packs here as opposed to a box. So we really have no idea what's gonna happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Here we go. Next up is Chris. Chris. Coming in with 13 points for Team Water. Here we go, Chris. Let's see what we got for you today. Set aside that oh. code card. We got the eyeball energy, the drill, drill burst score, the Relor, the ponytail Bonita. score, the chat tops, the iron hands, heavy baton, the mist energy, the Vika Volt will not, the Lickitung will not, but hey. the raging bolt will. Raging bolts. Let's see, number 123 on the set is going to come in at $1.78. So that's just going to be worth two, two, three, four, five, six. Six points. There Look at that. Go. Six back to back packs. Yes. Uh, bringing Chris's total up to 19 at 14 water, which won't be enough to contribute to the overall team score, unfortunately. But either which way, a great Raging Bolt headed your way in there the you mail. Go. Kaboom! All right, next up we have got uh, Not Lauren. Not Lauren. Not of Lauren. The, of, uh, I still include Not Lauren in the Legion of Lauren. As, as do I. Word. As yes. do I. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and pull right here. Shares a birthday with uh, James and Oliver Phelps, the Weasley twins. How about that? That's, That's very fun. cool. Um, the the kind of interesting thing about Not Lauren is that in, in their debut back in season 10, they pulled 26 points on their on a lone pack. Metal so energy. this is someone capable of pulling something big. The Knocked, knocked Owl. Owl scores, the Box Order, the Rabombi, the Future Booster Energy. The Oh, critical, oh, hit, critical hit on the knockdown. Hit on the knockdown. Well, that's unbelievable. The chat out and the melt. Oh metal my gosh. Metal. Wow. So that's hilarious that they're actually going to get six points again. Six right? points again. Yeah. It's going to be one, two, three, and then uh, times two. Times two. So yep. six. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. So wow. we we are. Uh, six, six, six across the board, which actually starts to feel a little bit ominous. It does. When I you know, look geez. at it that way. Right. Um, Ending on the Mel Metal. How unfortunate. That is super unfortunate. But either way, here we go. Next up for Team Grass, it's Jeremy Evans. Jeremy Evans. Yeah, that Mel Metal for, for reference in case anybody's wondering why we're like, oh, that one. It is it is the lowest value rare card in the pack. It is worth two, two pennies. Cents. So yeah. you could easily walk down the street and probably scavenge for enough funds to, to purchase to, to one. To buy one for yourself. Yeah, Might not even go. cover shipping, though. Yeah, almost certainly not. All yeah. right, so we got the we got Rock the Rock is Pummeling Energy. We got the Mr. Mime, the Raichu, the Victini will score. The Bronzor will not. I'm sorry, the Rapidash will. The Bolton, the Mudsdale, the Mist, Mist Energy again. will. The Delmise will not. And the, the Dunsparce. Dunsparce. So we're going to have four. So we finally broke up our... Or no, team. five, right? Oh, two five. Two energy. Right? Yes, you are correct. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Oh my yep. gosh! So so go. dangerously close to to keeping up with our six pace, which is kind of fascinating because I don't really think of this as a huge fire set necessarily. But no, not really. We they, have. Yeah. They've been showing up. Yes, and we've had a few. We that very first pack, even though we got six points, did not have any fire Pokemon. So last place points are like on the table, unlike grass, where we didn't get a single single point. Yeah, here. and we do have Rachel Fountain in the competition today with just two points coming in. And I think that she may be our only major contestant oh, for man. last place. So okay. big one to spot for there with Rachel. All right, next up is Robot Wiz, or Robot Wiz, as I like to say. Robot Wiz. They're coming in with three points for Team Grass. Electric energy. Maybe we'll get more than one person who hits the energy type today. I know, that yeah. yeah. Let's wild. see. Wild. Cutie Fly. Drill Verbal Score. Unfazant. Scent Scorch. Palafin, Poochiana, Latias will not score, and Fluttermane. So just three points here for Robot Wiz. Gonna bring their total to six on the season. There you go. Bam. Bam! All right. Nothing too crazy there. Next up, we have got Chase, former champion Chase. Former champion indeed. Okay, yes. so this, yeah, you gotta keep an eye out. Again, this is for Team Grass, who really Team Grass, what they're looking for across the board, as we mentioned earlier, is 
just any opportunity to nudge up their overall top score because Team Electric, who has their top place contender, who will score any points, they're up by two. You're right. So, so unless Steven N gets a single point pack. I know, yeah. So we're, we're going to see. So we got the Lightning Bolt energy there. We got the Minchino, the Rock Ruff, the Litten Mole score, the Shroomish, the Explorer's Guidance, the Iron Hands, Morty's Conviction, the Pine Co., the Eerie will not score, and the, hey, walking, the walking Wake. wake. There, there we, we go. go. Number 50 on the set. Have we pulled one of those this season? I guess we have. That's just worth 80 cents there for Chase. We'll so round just up. Just two points, sadly. Just two points. Oh, not what you want to see for Team Grass today, but either which way, a nice full art card headed your way, Chase. Enjoy. And there you go. We met Chase. We Philly. did meet Chase. Yeah. Yes, it was great to meet you, bud. Thank um, you guys for coming I'm out. On the road. I know. I'm excited to see who we're going to meet on the West Coast. I know. Yes. Coming it's going to be so here. much fun. All right, next up, we have Marcos for Team Water. Marco's coming in with some sizable points here. It looks like like 25 points. Is that right? No, 15? No, no, no. Right. Oh, wait, do I have this wrong? I have it down as, man, I think I did the math wrong anyway. Yeah, 25. 25. For Marcos? Right? What do you have down? I have 15. Oh, That's I have 15. 17 and 8, so. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe this is a whoopsies. Because yours looks correct. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. Right? Nope. Marcos for Team Water. Yeah, I bet you just missed the one on the seventeen. Probably the fifteen. Yeah, that would be okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, right. sorry. Yeah, we're back. Anyway, there we go. Dark teardrop. Here we go. We have a Solosa Scyther, which I'll sign for you. Skiddy, Electabuzz, Sandy Shocks, Hand Tremor, Rabs. Good opponent will score. score. Cutie Fly will not. And for Alligator, we got the so double marked cards though. That's not so bad. That's not so, so bad. bad okay, so that's just going to be two points though for the Ponyta just and the for Alligator. So it brings you up to twenty-seven on the season for Marcos, which is a very commendable showing, honestly. That's a that's a great season there, and you get two marked up cards. There you go, you're welcome. Basically, oh. that's a, who, who's the real winner here? And who's the real winner? Look, Marcos gets two cards right there. I wonder if anyone's gotten double so far. I know, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like, I already you. had one of these. Man. <gasps> All right, next up we have Faith, who's coming in with six points themselves. Okay, Faith, For Team see. Grass. For Team Grass. Do -do -do -do. Need something big here. Something big, they I know. They want to extend their lead. What's fun about this is that a lot of times the team competition ends up being carried by whoever's winning the whole thing. But right now, that's not the case. It's just teamwork. It is just teamwork, yeah. Team, team Grass is like a good, solid spread. So yeah. it's like, you know, they're not the first place finisher, oh, yeah. but they've got they've got plenty of people in the top 15. Right. So we got the Mawile, the Metatite, the Turtonator Turtonator. will score, the Hoot Hoot, the Roserade, the Keldeo, the Iron Jugleus, the Sizzle Peed will score, the Bolton will not, and the oh, Karai. Right well, so just three. One, two, three. We'll end Faith with nine points for the season. Can't quite crack I into know. double digits. Nice, uh, nice slot machine finish though with the three, three, three. Three, three, three. I know. Yeah, we gotta we gotta oh, think man. of some fun new fun new function for that. I one. know, right? Yeah. If you do that, it seems like it's gotta be worth something. All right. Next up, we have Lando Mando. Lando Mando for Team Water. Team Water only got six points coming in. Six is like the number of the day. It really is. It's so kind of like this odd through line. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see. We have got electric energy. Okay, which All I thought right, like so we see a lot of those as I well. I know, right? Here we go. Arbok, C dot, Totodot, Rescue Board, Rabombi, Hand Trimmer, Giraffe, Rig, Bolton, and just the Macargo for two points. Two points, yeah. Because it's got man. that fire boost on it. But Goodness gracious. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign the Macargo for you just because that oh, feels what like, a yeah, lone I mean, Macargo. Yeah, there we go. All right, wow. Is, is, you like, is, like, is, is Macargo one of your favorite Pokemon? Or do you no, just choose no, it to complete random just, right just, now? Just complete random. It was like, wow, that's, it's it's hard to spin why this would be a fun pack. So we had to add a little extra pizzazz to it. Wow, so, there you go. There we go. Enjoy nice. Lando Mando. The only Ben signed card A truly far, unique one. Right? All right, next up we have Lauren. From the Legion of Lauren. Here we go. Wow, who, this we met, is uh, Master Lauren. Master Lauren, yeah. L-O-R-I-N. From uh, who we met at RTX. Yeah. Yes. You know, back in Austin. Yes. All right. They've got 10 points coming in. For Team Electric. Team yeah. Electric. Well, Team Electric, I guess, no, they're, they're, they can still score some points here, right? No, they yeah, want to take... They want to retake the lead. Team, yeah, they, and, and they stand to do so. So right. Team Electric is is poised. Really, Steven N is is like shouldering a lot at I know, the moment. He's got something to play for here. Great Tusk, Pine Co. Oh, oh, look at that! The Litten, that is adorable. Oh my a, gosh, that is I a great love looking it. card. That's so pretty. Oh, and the Maraidon oh, there. there. And go. it's a fire card, so it'll get an extra point on top of itself. Okay, let's take a peek see here. Number 167. I don't think we've pulled this one so far. I don't recognize it. $4.85 for that there, Litton. All right, so five, six, seven, eight. 
Eight. Okay. Total Perfect. We'll bring you up to Solid. 18 on the season. A great showing and a great card. That's nice. a really fun one. I that love is, that. That is. I know. Man, I love that Litton card. Wow, 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 wow. Cool. All right. Next up, we have got Bobby. Bobby. Bobby with two Ys. Bobby's hot and cheesy. Hot that's and a, cheesy. That's a pizza place here in, here in Rono. It's pretty solid pizza. It is pretty solid pizza. Uh, I've really only, I think I've been here like twice, though. Really? Yeah. Only two times. Did you go there a lot? You should go visit Bobby sometime. Maybe I will. Um, <laughs> let's see here. All right, we got the Eyeball Energy, we got the Lickitung, the Charger Bug, the Slugma, we'll score, the Solosis, the Shiftry, the Bianca's Devotion, Iron, it's Hurtwig, the Finizen, and the oh, Macargo! Oh, you got the full evolution line. Oh my gosh, wow, how exciting is there that? There you go, are you, you know? gonna sign this one too? No, 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 no. no oh, just the one. Just truly exclusive, Okay, yeah. wow, okay. There we go. There we go, well, just a two, about three point Three pack, point, three points, yep, okay. Yeah, well, so well done to Bobby. Total. Look, and you know, hot and cheesy. Hot and cheesy. Look at that. Slugma, Macargo. Yeah, the Macargo is pizza, apparently. What is cheese if not hot slugs? Yeah, exactly, right? Everybody's Whenever like, I'm we eating just ruined pizza. cheese. They're like, don't ruin cheese, Ben. Come on. All right, next up we've got Big Jake. All right, Big Jake can be a little bit interesting okay. coming into the day with 26 points for 26. Team Electric. So this, I believe, is going to be an opportunity for Team Electric to potentially scoot forward. Oh, Let because, see yeah, here. are so they in the one, top five? Let's see, let's see. So one, uh... Two, three, four, five. So 33 points okay. is going to be, so uh, they, they are in the zip code. They're at 26 and they need to get above 33 to do some scoring. To, to be, to, yeah, to be contributing. So, okay. okay. So that means, yeah, we need at least, what, like eight points? Eight points. Let's see if we can do it. Deerling, Pidove, Pineco. Mawile, Rabska, Iron Jugulus, Metal Lab, Tranquil, Finizen, and Torterra! Ooh, okay! There we go. I, it doesn't look like an eight point card to me, but I could be wrong. Let's see, number 185 on the set. We have pulled it before. $2.61. We'll round up to just three points just for that three points. one. So close. A great showing, almost contributing to Team Electricity, and a great card either way. So yeah, right. you'll enjoy, I'm sure. Big Jake. Right, yeah, 29. There we go. Well cool. done, well done. All right, next up we have got Anthony. Anthony. Here we go. Is this another, is this Chase's brother? This is Chase's brother. This is yes. Chase's brother. Interesting in game programming. Here we go. We've right. got six points coming in for Team Fire. For Team Fire. Last place. They need some points. They need some points. Let's see it, Anthony. All right, let's see. We got, oh, we got the, the fire fireball. There fire. we go. Yeah, yeah so first one of the day. First one. Well done. And for Team Fire, no less. We got the Beldum. The Heemore will score. The nice. Lacolia, Zumaril, Delmize, Electivire, Sableye, Rock will not score. Hey, oh, the Cutie the Fly. Cutie fly. And that nice. is super cute. Very Gotta cool. love that. And then the Iron Valiant to close out. Let's Bam. take a peek at the Cutie Fly number 172. Don't think we pulled that one either. I know, this is interesting. So we got, uh, well, look at that. 172 is worth $1.72. Wow, that's um, crazy. That is crazy. So, so what's that? Two, three, four times two is eight. Eight. Here we go. Bring uh, Anthony up to 14 on the season. Yep. Yeah, I feel like we're getting some good pulls today. I know, people are getting some good points. And like, yeah, some unique pulls. Some like, unique pulls, yeah, yeah. for this late in the season. I feel like that's like what the boosters kind of do is they've like changed up the algorithm a well, little bit. Seems like it. All right, next up we've got Bryliv, uh, enemy of Dylan Clark. This is a combo of Brian and Olivia, so another couple in let's the see. game. They started, let's see, how are they doing right now? They've only got four points so far on the season. They've been sort of like up and down across the way here. Back in season eight, they got up to 17 points. Let's see, bam, we got the Water Energy, Snob, Mudbray, Minchino, Rockruff, Salvatore, Bronzong will score, Excadrill, Sizzlepeed will score, oh, critical hit on the Excadrill and a Feraligator! Man, so I think it's just going to bring them to six to six total with the scores there. But of course, we always mark up the Feral again. Yeah, of course, of course. Right? But that does also bring you up to ten points on the season, so that's not so bad. Yeah, very good, very solid, very solid, six right there. Bam, it's always just fun to get a critical hit of any kind. It is know. indeed. Yep, there we go. Yes, there we man. go. There you go, Bri. Live enjoy those 10 points. Next up, we have got Emerald Phoenix. Emerald. We met Emerald in... DC. DC. Yes. For Through the Gryffindor. We sure did. This is so fun. <clears throat> it's like, I love the fact that, like, as time has gone on, we've slowly, like, actually, like, interacted know, with like, so many of the people. It's like, aha! A lot of the people. Yeah. All right, so we got the teardrop energy there, or water is the, the industry likes to call it. <laughs> we got the skitty, the, <laughs> the <electrobus>. government. <laughs> the government calls it 630. <laughs> 
<laughs> the giraffe rig, the lichen rock, the salvator, the palafin, the ghastly will not score, the excadrill will. Oh, and the gouging fire! No, the excadrill won't. Oh, wait, well, the drill no, bar is what I was looking at. I'm so yep. sorry, that's my bad, but. Yep. Gouging Fire go. will score, and it gets an extra point for being a fire card. Okay, let's see here. Good save, good save. Number 188. I believe this is our first one. $4.61. Okay, Round so up five, to five. And then plus one is six for nine total on the season for Emerald Phoenix. But awesome card, dude. Uh, yet another six on the day. I believe that makes it our, like, one, two, three, four, fifth six pointer. Jeez. Isn't that wild? I know, that is crazy. It was like, yeah, is that, that, we kept saying seven was the number, but now apparently it's six. Speaking of, I did go through and do some additional math. Oh, the excellent. current The current most common score that we have is nine. The uh, uh, median score is 11, and the average score is just about 16 points. Wow, so, so that it actually moved up. Yeah, it did, it did, yeah. yeah. Which kind of makes sense, because some packs that probably added yeah, some yeah. values, yeah. Some, some Jazzy J truth are up there. All right, next up we have Rachel Fountain, who is a rookie, or was a rookie earlier this season. So this is just their second pack ever. Okay, and this is the big one, because Rachel does have the ability with her second pack Oh, you're to right. To compete for last place. So you're if this is a right. one point pack, which I don't think we've even had today. Nope. So um, we'd be hoping for no fire, but oh, of course but the there's others, some right, yeah, there. right there. Yeah, so never mind. Beldum, the Golurk, the Shaman Fortress, Colossal, Carvana, and oh, the Incineroar. So you were not going to make it. Uh, hilariously, if it had just been the Incineroar, it still wouldn't matter because the type advantage would give them the extra point. It would have indeed, yep. So that's just and that's just worth 63 cents for the Incineroar. So that's so two, three. Three points, yep. So there we go. Blasting you up to five on the season, but at least a full art card to, to close out the, the season with. And on, just on your second pack. Yep, very cool, very cool. All right, next up, we've got Trevor. Trevor! For Trevor, Team Water. For Team Water. They got seven points coming into the day. Am I up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see this. You got it, man. All right, Trevor. Let's see. Trevor, is this is only his third season ever. He had a two points, and then an eight points, and he's sitting at seven, so maybe they can just continue the curve upwards. Okay. Know? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So we got the, the Metal Energy there, the Toto to Dial, the Deerling, the Pie Dove, the Pine Co., the Iron Valiant, the Sharpedo, the Metagross, the Roly Coley. Oh, my gosh. Wow. The Haunter uh, will not score, and, and the, the Flutter. Man, you know who wow. wishes they got this pack? So just, I know. Just one pack later. One pack later. In fact, Trevor does not break eight points, so they just are plateauing. Wow, you know? wow. So that, <laughs> that, that went wrong in two different in two directions. Different ways. It's not what you want to see play out. Whoops, sorry, oh, man. Trevor. Ra Rachel Fountain is just shaking She's shaking like, her fist at Trevor like, like come on! Dude, I had that it! That would have done it for me. If only, if only. All right, next up, we. oh gosh, we have Reginald Munion! Reginald Munion. Reginald Munion. I, 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 this is one where it's it's right up there. Mooney Man! With E.K. Sko. Uh, I know. We, forever and ever, we've never been able to figure it out. Because, like, I, it says, it is so confusing the ways that we've written it down. It says, wants to be called Mooney Man, but then under it it says, like Paul Bunyan. And I'm like, Munya Man? Munya Man? Munya Man? Mooney Man? Munion? I'm gonna say Reginald Munyon. You know who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are. It we could be the one and only with three points on the season for Team Ecletricity. Team Ecletricity. Mm -hmm. Let's see. How can we do? Can we get something massive and big? We have not pulled like the biggest card of the set either. No, like we this haven't. Entire no, time. Yes. It would be so exciting to, to see something really go down. Yep. Let's see. All right. Slugma scores. Screamtail zero. Aura, Iron Valiant, Ghastly, Rabska, and, and the Roaring, Roaring Man. Man. So, so just, just three points. Three points for, for Reginald Munyon there. there so you go. six on the season. Six on the season. Ba bam. All right, coming your way, dude. Next up, we've got uh, Josh, or as I have written down here, Josh. 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 Josh or Josh of Team Fire, because I do believe that there are two Joshes in the in the season at the moment. Hmm. Um, and so yeah, this is this is Josh of Team Fire coming in with five points. Okay, let's see. We got the teardrop energy. We got the Bramblin. I might see something peeking out back there. Uh -oh. The giraffe egg, the Roselia, the cutie fly, the lichen rock, the Dell caddy, the future booster, the hey, maximum, the maximum belt. belt. There we go. The pie dove will not score them. The metal metal. metal. It's like the metal metal has come with the a spec both times. Look I think, at that. Hasn't it? Yes, I believe so. One fifty four. Although this one does do a fair bit better at fourteen dollars seventy three cents. So, so 15, 15, 16 16 points. There we go. That's what you like to see to that, close out the season for 21 points. 21 points, not bad nice. at all. And maximum belt, super good card. 
uh, as well. They're very playable. One of the better ace specs. So there you go. Enjoy that. You know, bring it to your local tournament. Win some games. There you go. Or, or don't, whatever. Just collect it. Just have too. fun. Yeah, as long as you're enjoying yourself. Exactly. All right, next up we have Bront, like Brontosaurus. Yeah! Mm-hmm. It says, it's, it says, is probably your number one fan in New Zealand. What? So. Man, that's probably awesome. <laughs> my, I must say probably a lot at home because my daughter Addison has started saying it. Mm. So like I'll ask her a question, she'll go probably, probably can't <laughs> be certain. Right? I'm like you're you're already hedging. Yeah, like, Addison, <laughs> stop hedging. That's so that seems like against her base instincts too because like whenever I ask Addison anything, she's like nope, nope, and like doesn't have to think about it for long at all. It's like do I want it? Yup. Or nope, right yeah, away. She's very deliberate. Yeah, yeah. Ben, don't break her deliberateness. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. Know? Jeez, I dude. I'm I'm famous for my hedging, so. Yeah. All right. Here we go. we have Victini, Bronzor, Mudbray, Ghastly, Unfazant, Eerie, Centiscorch, Vike. Oh, the Deerling. Yeah, there one of my go. favorite yes. artworks in the season is this Deerling. It's so pretty because if you get the sauce buck that goes with it, it like matches up with this one, so you can see all four seasons. It's very fun. Um, Let's see. We'll go ahead and I yeah, think okay, pulled so one before. We have indeed. So five dollars twenty nine cents on that one. We'll okay. round up to six. six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Well done, to Bront. Go, Bront. And an amazing card headed your way as well. I feel like we have got like the the sweet spot of our box here. We I are, know. We are definitely getting some neat like illustrators and all sorts of stuff going on. Right. Great. Great. But can we get can we get the big one? I know. I want to see the big one. I, I want to see the big one. All right, next up we have got... Bay Positive! Bay Positive. With 14 points for Team Water. Looking to see if they uh, if she can contribute here to the the team competition or just take the whole lot, you know? Why not? Right, okay. let's go big. Go huge. Go huge. Okay, we got the Dark Teardrop there. We got the Dunsparce, the Snom, the Pikachu, the Scyther, Scyther. which Jay will sign for you, the Great Tusk, the Bronzong, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, the Licky Licky, the Electabuzz, and the Whimsicott. The so, Whimsicott, so just one point. Just one point <laughs> one, for Bay Positive. Our first one-pointer of the day. Second one-pointer, because we had that with Trevor following Rachel oh, Fountain right. who needed yes, it. Yes, you're right, you're um, right. But at least you have the Scyther in there to, to sort of like offset some of the... Disappointment. I know, but we know it's possible. We know it's one possible. Point. That's yeah, the important yeah. thing for whoever else. Do we have another person who can get there today? No, no, we no, sure that's don't. It. Oh, yeah, wow. So, so four points so, is going to oh, become no, the, that's gonna the be competition. going to be a nightmare for it is Ethan. Gonna, yeah, that's going to be a tricky one gonna for gonna sure. going to have to do some, uh, some work on that. <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got Megan K with seven points. All right. Let's see, they are for our team of water and watching SCB since 2016, oh my gosh. Man, this is like one of those things that does blow my mind is yeah, like when you go out into the world and like, I've been watching you for like 10 years and you're like, what? No. Wow, that's incredible. <gasps> I know, that's I always really appreciate those people. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, the Ponytail score, Chad Ot, Shaman, Cypher Maniac, Vike of oh, the, the Drill, the Double Drillbur. What, you love to see it in the oh, Mel Metal. Come on. Such a spoiler Mel Metal. It is like hard. Haunting today's yeah. today's pack. It so is. one, two, three, four times two is eight. Eight. So, so uh, add it to your total. It's going to be fifteen on the season for Megan K. Coming in right at that like that average position. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. Wait, 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 fifteen point yeah. nine. Fifteen point nine. Yeah. Uh, it's a below yeah. average. It's above average. average. Yeah. You know, come on now. We can do better. We can do better. Maybe Maddie will do better. Our next contestant. They have only got three points, so they would need quite a pack here. To get above average, you know. I want to know if Maddie is an identical twin, because we have another person of this shared last name who is in the oh. competition, and oh. I'm like, I'm like, are, are do we have do we have siblings or is it a coincidence? You mean Tyler? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Is, is Maddie question. related to Tyler? Could be. Could be. Who Could knows? Be. All right. So we got the eyeball energy there. We got the yamper, the grubbin, the oh, I think I see something. The uh -oh. medicham, the tranquil, the chinchino, the great tusk, the morty's conviction, the oh, neo, the neo upper upper energy. energy, which we've seen today. We have indeed the carvana the and the roaring moon. moon. Want so. us, like we saw it. It's you know it's exciting to get the ace spec, but as we know, it's like two or three points. Yeah, just two for the neo upper energy. No. So dollar sixty three on that one. So point three pack. points for Maddie. Six on the season. Goodness me. Well, there you go. It was an exciting pack, even if your point total finished below average. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All I right. Was, I was trying to see what Tyler did, just out of raw curiosity here. There they Six are points. Fire. Six points as well. 
How about that? How okay. Even. How identical. How I yeah. even. How exactly the same. How exactly Very strange. the same. Hmm. They're like, we don't know each other at all. Coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Solely, entirely. Up. Next up, we've got Huffle Dub. Huffle Dub. Here we go. Huffle Dub has got three points coming in, and that was their first pack of the season, so they must have joined us midway through. This is their rookie season. Oh, we've got a Scyther here. Oh, I see something so, peeking so, out here okay, too. Okay. The Sizzle Pee, the Meryl, the Rebombi, the Future Booster, the Iron Hand, the Master Ball. Oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah, the the Emor will score, score and the Bramble Gas as well. So there we go. Okay. Got a bunch of Ace Specs there. Is this like our fourth one? I think so, yeah. yeah. So we've had two Neo Energies, the Maximum Belt, and now the Master Ball. How about that? Yeah, so the Master Ball comes in at $9.19, so we're out of 10. 10, 11, 12, 13 points! 13 points for Huffle Dub. Which means they finish at 16 points. Right above average. Right above average. Right above Way average. Way to go. Way Bam. to be above average. Way to be above average with your master ball. It has above average uh, catching results, you know? All right, next up we've got Tina Dodge. Probably invented Doge. Oh, yeah, Doge. Right. Tina, Tina Dodge, you Tina. probably invented Dogecoin. Uh, over at the camera. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, Tina, Tina Dogecoin, as it were. Well done on your, your major accomplishments Way there. Way to do that, yeah, yeah you yeah. know. Looking. I hope that's going well. Doge, Doge going to the moon, I guess. Turtwig, Puccina, Wiglet, Meltan, uh, Behemoth, be, be, you know, Rapidash, the Grubbin will not score, the Mighty Enna will not score, but the hey, Iron Crown the will! the Iron Crown. Boy, if we could just pull... I think this one's actually weirdly good. Okay, let's see. Number if 81. Could, you're right. Yes, yeah. it is indeed. This, so is this a highly playable card? Is this that is a very playable card, and the, the, the most valuable card in the set is the illustrator version of this card. So okay. how much... How much is this one worth? Eight dollars eighty-six cents. So wow. nine, nine ten. ten. There we go. So twenty-three on the season for Tina Dogecoin. Wow, truly above average. Truly indeed. Truly. Yes, blasted right past it. Boom! Iron Crown coming your way. Very good. All right. Um. Oh, this is just a Stephen N. Here Steve we go. The champion is on the table. Yes. Okay. So Stephen N is, of course, currently the overall leader in the competition for yes. Team Electric. The big topic of the day for Stephen, at least at the moment, as far as I know, is that Team Electricity is two points behind Team Grass. Right. And so what Stephen needs to do is pull off. More than two points. More than three, two points. Three points in order for Team Electricity to take over Team Grass's reign. Right. Steven N has only ever opened one pack, and it was worth 132 points. Yes. That and is leading the competition. He had a four-time multiplier on that prime catcher. I think it's you? Yes. Let's see. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Can we get more than three points and retake the team competition lead for Team Electric? I mean, it's so hard to know. Did he just get lucky? It's always Team Electric and Team Grass, too, yeah. at the top there. So this well, is, this is really important. some Electric here. We have Cottony, Carvana, Ekans, Turtwig, Great Dusk, Odos, Salvatore, the Bronzong will score. The, that's going to be three points right there. With there the we go. The that's Cottony it. And the Cottony and the Karadas. Oh, my gosh. Wow. All wow. it needed to be. That is unbelievable. So Team Electric, at the moment, will take over the team competition. However, our next four contestants, our next four patrons, are all from Team Grass. Oh, so man. It is slated such Any... that it's like, it's like we, they're, they're like, okay, if you're going to take over, uh, so what they what they need to, what Team Grass needs to see now is somebody pull something. Somebody, big. so there's four Grass in a row, five Grass left total, and that fifth one, Sierra Cawthorn, is the has the highest number of points right now. Yes, so Sierra is somebody to definitely keep a watchful eye on as we continue forward, but well done to Steven N. Man. Who furthers their lead with 136 points on the season. Currently the reigning champ. Right. Seems untouchable. Seems untouchable, but I mean, an iron crown anywhere in these last packs could really change things up. Especially because our very last contestant of the day is Braun from Team Water with 71 points. Oh my gosh. So it, it's like if our last, there's there some serious distance. last pack yeah. magic could be Man. potential. Okay, so things are heating up. We're in the we're in the field of grass. All Let's right. see what goes on. Here we go. Gildruin is up first for Team Grass. They have got three points. What do they need to get higher than to actually affect the score? Okay, let's see if we can do some quick math here because okay. we've currently got one, two, three, four, five. So the bottom of the table, I believe, for Team Grass is 39, 39. points. 
right? Let me just double check to make sure nobody over here has that for Team Grass. I don't think they do. Okay, so it's pretty hard for Gil Druin here if they've got to get above 39. Right. They so would need to get up to 43 points on this pack. Yes, yeah. yes indeed. Okay, so let's let's see what's what's going on for Gil Druin. The Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. Here we go. Here we sea go. Of grass. Oh, oh good God. start for Gil Druin. You love to see it. The Merit, the Golette, the Elgium, the Meltan, the Eerie, the Colossal, the Boxed Order, the Mincino, the Screamtail, and oh, the Magargo. No. That's it. Just a four point pack. A four oh. point pack. Not what you wanted to Not see with the all. multiplier available. So, man. That's a, we're going to have to call that a swing and a miss. All right, well, Grass came out. So they did come out swinging, though. They, they got did the come out swinging. Yep, All right, yep. next up for grass, Jupiter Fox. They start a little bit higher, five points. They're all, their hopes are on Jupiter Fox right now. Can they retake the lead in the team competition? Let's see. So Does yeah. teamwork make the dream work? Bam, all right, dark teardrop. So here we go. The Elgium, the Melton, the Nuzly, the Mancino, Rescue Board, Sandy Shocks, Hand Trimmer, Mudbray, Crocodile. Oh, and Morty's, Morty's Conviction. Conviction. Okay, okay. okay it's see. not like they're not pulling stuff. It's just I doubt Morty's Conviction is, you it's know, a 35-point card. No, sadly, it's closer to a, a, a three-point card. Oh, yeah, $2.54. No. So... Just three points for Jupiter Fox, and it's like, and once somebody's pulled like a big card too, it's like, what are the odds of the next one will be a big card? I know, but you, I mean, not zero. Not, not zero. zero, not yeah. zero, absolutely not. Cards okay, are random. so that brings us to Prism for Team Grass, who does have 13 points. 13 points on just one pack as well. So they have only, they must have joined us mid season also. They All love right. drawing and uh, loves Phalanx. That's their favorite Pokemon, but I don't Phalanx. think there's a Phalanx in this set, sadly. Okay, let's see. We got the Rock Rockus Pumbling Energy no multiplier. There. The Sea Dot, the Totodile, the Deerling, the Piedup, the Bolton, the Mudsdale, the Explorer's Guidance, the Grottle will not score. Oh, oh the, the Bronzor. Bronzor! That will score as will the, the Coridon. Let's see, number 170. Very cool I still Bronzor. think. Look, they are trying their absolute hardest. I know, they're hardest. throwing multipliers. They're pulling gallery cards. A dollar seventy-three for no, the illustration rare bronze just or three points. Three points. Goodness gracious. Sixteen. They, Sixteen. Okay, so up next, we've, we're we're we're. There, it's unbelievable that we've had a multiplier and two illustrators. I and know. None of them and have been worth anything. Have gotten, like above ten points. All right. Next up, we have Veva. <laughs> The final uh, in a line of grass players here. Looking, all... Everybody's just gunning after Stephen N, who was I able know. to nudge Team Electricity forward in the team competition. At this point, we also should bring up, speaking of Stephen N, that no one has knocked Big Steve down either. I know, yeah, so I, I imagine, I can just see Steven sitting there just like, come like, on. Like, come on. Now, hilarious, now this, it seems so unlikely at this point, but, in the weird event that Steven gets knocked down not once but twice, then whoever is sitting at eighth place will simultaneously be the Big Steve winner and the quality eighth place, place winner. winner. Yes. Yeah, so, oh my so God, this is like oh, here we go. Grass is at it again. Four for four. They've done something interesting, but is it enough? Let's Trubish. see. Lick a tongue, charge bug, the slugma, oh, the rapid rapid dash. Okay, we got something Tiny here. Tiny points, cypher maniacs, the metatite, the, the grotto, and, and the, the iron crown. I oh mean, my it's gosh. good, but is it enough? I, I don't, don't think, think it is. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this is the same one we just pulled yeah. earlier. So nine points for that. So yeah, nine, ten, eleven. So it's a twenty-two point pack. Twenty-two like, point pack. Goodness oh my gosh. gosh! Doing everything they can. They are scrapping and clawing, uh, and that, that brings. I'm, 30, 30 points. points. Like they're they're just like a like a few off there, but it wow. is not quite there. So all of Grass's hopes now rest with Sierra Cawthorn to try and claw it back. That was so unbelievable. I know. That, like I series of four events. in a row. Oh, okay. Crazy. Okay. I mean, they tried. They tried hard. They Dieter tried. 56. Yes. Am I up? You're up. Okay. Let's see. Here it. we go. Let's They've got it. four points. This is for Team Water. Okay, Team Water, four points. Let's see what we can do here. Goodness gracious. I know. Team Grass looking for those pins, but they're, can they get it? Trying the metal so energy. hard. We got the Metal Energy, the Nuzleaf, the Minchino, the Rock Ruff, the Litten, Litten Will Score. Good call. The Scream Tail, the Sableye, the Iron Valiant, the Great Tusk will not score, the Behemoth will not score, and the Relicant really will for just two points. For Dieter 56, Dieter 56. Oh, dude, they, um, have, they do have a slot machine. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Look at that go. Here we go. 
That's exciting. It does seem like they, they, we gotta figure something else for that. I know, it's gotta be, gotta be a new one. Yeah, right. All right, next up, so uh, now for Team Fire is V-Rose. Okay, with five points on the season. Five points on the season. Joining us uh, midway as well. This is just their second pack ever. Let's see how they do. Can they pull something big to close us out here? Not close us out, we still have more to go. Puchiana, Wiglet, Melton, C. Excadrill, Screamtail, Zara Aura, the Karaidon will score, the Mudsdale will not, and the Whimsicott will. So just two points there. Look at this, it's so weird as well that like the packs cooled off immediately after the Field I know, of Dreams. Immediately after a grass. So let's see. Uh, and we ha we do have just that one grass person left. Like, did they save all their like big juice for that? Were they ramping up? I don't know. We'll see. Who we'll knows? see. Or or do we just see that that Iron Valiant come out? You know, at the very last pack for Brawn. For Brawn, yeah, Braun. yeah. Oh like so gosh. so many narratives left in the water. But I know. Up next we got Herbert Chorley. Herbert Chorley, who's coming in with nine points for Team Water. Looking for a Psyduck, probably. Yeah, probably. You get, you right. get that reference? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's see here. So we got the the salad yeah, energy, the shroomish, the lick tongue, the charger bug, the slug slugma, the rescue board, the rebombi, the hand trimmer, the maridom will score, the skitty will not, the, the mel metal. Oh, mel metal. So there we one, go. two, three points, bringing uh, Herbert Chorley up to a below average twelve a on below the average season. Twelve. Wow. Well, goodness me. Well, you tried your best. You did. All right, here we go, Ben. Sierra Cawthorn is on the table. Okay. The final grass player of the season. So, yeah, so 39 points. Sierra's coming in with 23, which does mean that they need, just in order to score, 17 points. Okay. And that would still not be enough. I think you would need 18 minimum. Not impossible. Not impossible. And I have a note here that earlier in the season on her first pack, Sierra Cawthorn did manage a four times multiplier. Okay. So does... Do do they have any last bits of magic? Well, we're about to find out. Grass here. We're about to find out. Here we go. Let's see it. Can they retake the team competition? Water energy. All right, no multiplier. We've got a roller coaster. The heat more helps. The, the Torah cat house. The Senna scorch. The buddy buddy popping. Oh my goodness. The Iron Treads, the Azumra, the Rapid Dash, and oh, the, the Drampa. Look oh how many fire cards goodness. there were. And we got Man. one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight points. Oh ah, my gosh! So it won't be enough. I was thinking maybe we would get a critical hit in there. That would have been crazy. So it's not going 31 to be thirty-one points on the points. season. Oh. Man, for Sierra Cawthorn, so close. I can't believe the way this is playing out. I know. It's so interesting. <laughs> like, all right. you know, we had the we had the, the the group of grass, all of whom pulled something interesting, and then we had like basically boring cards, and then it came back to grass where something interesting happened again. I know. Look, they really pulled out all the stops. So at the moment, grass is out of the team competition. At the moment, yes. barely. Yes. But Right. And so you gotta feel like Electric's feeling good. There are only four players left. Three of them are non-Electric players, so it's possible something crazy comes up and disrupts uh, the current here, as it were. But uh, right now we have Shauna, Shauna for, team for Team Water. Water with yes. four points at the moment. Oh my gosh, who hilariously and unfortunately switched from Team Electric to Team Water this season. No way! Could Shauna, like, just destroy her former team here with one pack? Let's see it. She's only Let's got four points right now. There's Electricity, There's, so okay. comes out so swinging and is like, yo, I see you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Here yeah. we go. Pikachu, the side oh, that I, I do, I see yeah. something peeking out, you guys, too. The Shaman, the Fortress, the Vikable, the oh. Neo Upper Energy, no! The, the third one today, the Grottle and the Whimsicott. Don't forget to sign that Scyther for uh, Yes, absolutely. Okay, so uh, the, you know, we, we've seen Pretty it multiple sure times. Two. Just two points for that one. I'll double check, just for extreme safety, 162 on the set. Will in fact be two points for that one. Uh, so what does that bring the total score up to for for this pack? Uh, two, three, four. Four points. Four points for so an eight doubled point your score. Season. Man, so I, I saw that pink back there. I was like, could it be? Could it be? Could it be something crazy? Even I mean, it would have had to be really crazy, but <laughs> it, it would have been. It would have been. That's okay. That's okay. It's all right. Next up for Team Fire is Sydney. Sydney with thirty-seven points. Oh, so, so Sydney. 
will Sydney, score. S- Sydney will score, no doubt, for Team right. Fire. Well, how but far back is Team Fire? Just just as a as a bit of curiosity, pretty far back. Team Fire is at two fifty four at the moment. Right, so um, they are thirty nine points back. Yeah, so we would right. need we would need something big to go down uh, in order for this to to really change the, the name of the game. Yeah. But, I mean, anything is of course always possible. Yeah, but Sydney's gonna have to have like a Jazzy J Truther kind of season here, where they pulled a thirty four, a three, and then something else big. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So we got the Solosis, the Skitty, the Electabuzz, the Bramblin, the Rapska, the Iron Juglius, the Full Metal Lab, the Tranquil will not score, the Solosis will not score, and the, the Scizor. Uh, not number, gonna move. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, think we love Scizor here, but yeah, how will see. it do? Number one eleven, just sixty-eight cents on that one. So just, uh, about to just a single, single point. point. So Sydney does not deliver. There we go. That is going to bring their total to thirty-eight on the season. But you get a Scizor, so there is that. So so far. Still nobody. This is really okay. So Alicia May is our next pack. Yeah. And what makes Alicia May very interesting for today's conversation is okay. that the last person is already above Big Steve. So Alicia oh no. is the, the last, last person. person. So we're down to our last two. Alicia's the last person who can who could bump Steven down. Who could bump Steven no. down. No. So Steven is has not moved from seventh place. For the all whole, month. All month. Wow. Yeah, unbelievable. No one has cracked above 50 points, right? Well, no, it means that the only people who have pulled big things were already in the top six. That's unbelievable. Which is, yeah, just, it's wild. So All right, so what what does Alicia have to do with this pack? Okay, let's see here. So she currently just has four points. So really right. not even, like, knocking on the door. Big Steve has 49. Okay, so she needs a 50 point... No, shoot, she needs 50 points to do it. So 46. We need a 46 point pack right here, Alicia. Let's see it. No let's problem it. at all. Yeah, how yeah. hard could it be? How hard could it be? Just pull something absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Something incredible. All right. No. Not, not so a good no start. No multiplier, yeah. not a good start. The Turtonator, the Turtonator it's okay. a little something. Beldum, the Keldeo, the Delmize, the Electivire, the Nuzly, the Chadot, oh and the Oh my god, oh, no. so just three points. <laughs> Steven will not get quality eighth place. That I can't believe, if anything, I thought that he would be pushed well beyond I thought he it. was going to be way down. I thought he would hold it for a second and then and then lose it. Lose yeah. it. So wow. There you wow, go. Wow. Wow. I wow. know Steven's going to be so upset about that. <laughs> I know. Okay. So we have one last narrative in place, which is that we have Braun from Team Water with seventy-one, 71 points. Seventy-one points indeed. So, and the breakdown for those is seventy and one. Seventy and so one. So they've gone huge. They've gone small. 71 points, and they need to beat, what, like 150 or something? 136. 136. Yeah, so so basically, I mean, just they shy of double doubling themselves. their score. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they need they need the last pack magic. They do Does indeed. it exist? Let's see. Final we... pack of the season. Let's see it, Braun. Let's Tesaurus. see it. No, okay. I wrote Tesaurus here, but... We also have Braun. We also have Braun, so yeah. I'm going to cross this one out. There we go, okay. We got the Azumarill, the Yamper. The Grubbin, the Medicham, the Iron Treads, the Boxed Order, the Rabombi, the Girafferig, the C Dot will not score, and the, the Roaring, Roaring Moon. Moon is not going to do oh it. Oh my gosh. That is a 72 a point way. season. Mm. Goodness what gracious. A way to end it. What a way to end it, indeed. Oh my gosh. So there we go. There we go. We have done it. We have done it. That is going to mean that Steven N. is the Season 11 champion. Yes. It is going to mean that Electric is the team champion. Yes. And yes. Uh, it looks like Kernak will end in the uh, quality 8th place spot for Team Grass. Right. And then um, who was down there in 6th place? 6th place. Okay. So 49. Let's see here. What happens... Uh, I believe that that is going to be Braun, is it not? Oh, it might be. It has to be, right? 73. Yeah. Or wait, no, but 73 is higher than 72. So. Oh no, my gosh. Wait, 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 we have a tie between Vicky and Braun. Both at 72. Both at 72. Oh my god. For the Big Steve Award. How wow. about that? Oh my goodness. A time for the Big Steve Award. Okay, so, so we're going to have to go to rare card value, which I guess we can check this one here. That's Roaring Moon. Well, is it, will it be across all three? 
It'd be across all three. All three, okay, so yeah. I'll just go back and check. But yeah. I can at least write this one down. What's Roaring Moon? Or we could do a tiebreaker and open a couple packs real quick. Just do it right here live? Right here live. All right, let's do let's it. Do Grab it. a couple. I'm doing it. All right, so actually, weirdly, in this tiebreaker, what you want is the low card, yes? I believe so. Yeah, because that will put you directly in front of Big Steve. Okay, we're doing a tiebreaker tiebreaker pack right now between Vicky and Braun. All right. Whoop. Let's see, let's see, okay. All right, so let's start with Vicky. Okay. Since Braun just opened. Give him a break, you know, catch yes. his breath. All right, Vicky, if you're watching, hopefully you are, you are looking for low card value. Low card value. Here we go, for your rare card. But either way, you'll get an extra pack. So bam, let's see it. Not that the points won't, the points don't matter now, it's just the rare card value. So there's the side there. I'll side that for you anyway, the Sizzlepeed, the Unfazant, the Sendiscorch, the Palafin, the Belden, the Bronzor, and the Maridon right okay. is the one in question. Okay, so 121, let's take a peek at that and see what we've got. It's gonna be 25 cents. Okay, let's see, this is gonna be Vicky at 25 cents. All right, that is the number to beat. Okay, so Braun is now looking for less than 25 cents. Bam, all right. Okay, you got it there? I got it, less than up. 25 cents. Braun, can you do it? All right, let's see here. Let's see, okay, so it's a code card side. We got the Fireball Energy, which won't matter because we're just doing rare card value. The Turdinator, what a scored hoot hoot. The Beldum, oh, oh no, gracious. it's the not gonna go. The Ancient Booster, the, the Maximum, maximum bell. bell. Well, the good news is you get the Maximum Bell. That's, oh my gosh, oh, the Metal no, Metal. No way. That is so unfortunate. The max you would have had the two cent victory, but the maximum belt is going to uh, blast you out of the water. Just, just, the just water. so that we can give the score itself. 154 on the set. The maximum belt we know is worth more. Fourteen dollars seventy three cents. But with your bonus pack, at least you got a fifteen. So that's going to be the rare card value is going to be fourteen seventy five when we add in the Mel Metal for. Braun, which means that Vicky is the Big Steve champion. How about wow. that? Congratulations. That's the Vicky. Y'all, what a truly amazing season it has been, but it is, of course, time to announce all of this season's winners with our last place award going to Benjamin Harden. The quality eighth place award is going to go to Kernak McClagan. Congratulations. The Big Steve Award is going to Vicky. And, of course, in first place, our winner, this season's champion, Stephen N. As ever, you guys, thank you so much for your support, for tuning in to the show. It is truly and honestly driven by you patrons, so it means the world to us. If you too would like to see us open a pack for you in the future, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting the Box Breakers tier. Yeah, next up we have Twilight Masquerade. Should be a lot of fun, but Should guys, be. until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!